Hi, in this video I will be demonstrating how to install OpenCenter and how to use it to configure an OpenStack environment. Uh, so first what I've done is created five VMs just by cloning a base Ubuntu 12.04 uh, install. I have also created three virtual networks um, that will be used at a later point. So now I'm just going to start the server VM and begin the installation process. So let's log in to the instance. And let's execute the script to install the server component. Um, notice that the role is specified as server. This process takes a while, so I'm going to fast forward uh, the video here for a bit. Next, let's log into the instance that will host the dashboard. And um, we'll execute the same command to run the installation script. Here, the role is specified as dashboard, and we also specify the server IP address. Once in installation completes, uh, we can take a look at the dashboard UI. And currently, it only shows the server node. So now let's go ahead and install the agent on the other nodes. To install the agent, um, we issue the same command, um, except the role is now an agent. And we also specify the IP address to the server node. The installation completes, and we see the chef server node appearing under available nodes. Um, let's go ahead and install the other two nodes. So now we see them appearing under available nodes um, as controller and compute one. Um, here I'm just showing the available act or the actions that are available to you. Pretty much the only thing we can do at this point is install the Chef server. So let's go ahead and do that. That will kick off a couple tasks that will run. The tasks appears at the bottom of the web browser, and here I'm just clicking on them. You see that the Adventure um, starts to run, and the first task is install the Chef server. So towards the right, um, it's actually t displaying the end of the log file. So that's actually pretty useful. Once the install Chef server completes, uh, the next task that will run is to download the cookbooks and that will finish. When that's done, the next thing we'll do is to create the Nova cluster. And to do that, we fill out this form. Um, here we just specify the IP address ranges for the various networks that are used by Nova. And these networks actually correspond to the virtual networks that we had created before. So here we just submit the form after filling it out. And the Nova cluster will be created by the server. Um, here we see that it actually kicks off the adventure. And the adventure completes. And we see on the screen now there's a Nova cluster box. Underneath that, there's an infrastructure box, which contains the Nova controllers. Um, there's a compute box for the computes, and there's a default availability zone called AZ Nova that's created. To create the controller node, we need to set its parent ID to the infrastructure node's node ID. To do that, we can execute the OpenCenter CLI 
node move command um, giving it the two IDs. For some reason in the most recent version of OpenCenter that command is actually buggy. So what I ended up doing was doing the alternative way of just simply moving the controller node over to the infrastructure box um, through the UI. Um, so here we've done that and the it sets off an adventure and the first task that gets executed is install chef. I should note that most of the OpenStack components are all installed on the controller node. So that includes um, Keystone, Cinder, and so on. So after the controller node completes its installation, uh, we'll install the compute node in a similar way by just dragging it over to the AZ Nova box. That will kick off um, an adventure to run. The adventure will install the chef client and after the client's install, it'll execute it and it'll run chef for the single compute role. Once the compute installation finishes, you shouldn't have a working OpenStack environment. One last note, for the compute node, you can actually disable scheduling and also evacuate the hosts. And that's OpenCenter, um, how you use it to install and configure an OpenStack environment. Thanks for watching.